This is out of three Link to the Past, the PC port. I want to show off some cool stuff in this. So we're off to Batman 16x9. Just gonna go to the over. Here's Dark World in 16x9. Let's look at the inventory system. I've enabled the item switch feature. And you can literally drag and drop uh, with this on. Hold the Y button down. Move a direction on the D-pad and you can rearrange items however you see fit. I think so far the only exception is I've not been able to move the fairy bottle. So you can kind of see I'm just kind of placing these items are they're not entirely useless, but they're fairly useless. So I don't have any bombs, so that's just going to be where it's at. Can hot, uh, you can set items to individual things. Maybe you want the boomerang assigned to X, you can assign to X, L, and R. So, for instance, here, bah, bah, bah. for instance, the boomerang, I'm hold down the X button, do to the right, bam. Now the boomerang is assigned to X. Um, we can quick assign this to R or L. I will assign it to. Uh, we'll go with L. D pad over to it. We're on. Now it's assigned to L. I'm doing that by holding down the button. Um, since we got the bug net, I'll assign that to R. Same thing, hold down the R button. And I'm over to it. Bug catching net. When you do that, um, it changes the way uh, the map is assigned. Since we reassigned the X button, map is now on select. You can see I just pushed the X button and it is throwing the boomerang. L buttons shooting arrows, R buttons already uh, doing the bug net. Why is this cool? I mean, you can see here, I'm hitting X, but I'm immediately going to do that. So the other cool thing is you can unassign those very easily. Go back into the menu, um, hold down, if you want to unassign X, for example, hold down X, it's on the boomerang, select it, move left to the left of X. It's no longer assigned. Y was a bow and arrow, just drag it left, R, all the way left again. So now it's unassigned. Why would you want to do that? You can use L and R button to fast switch through items if you don't uh, assign anything. <laughs> now, this game wasn't really designed with widescreen in mind back in whenever it was conceived, I guess, in the late 80s. So even though widescreen's enabled here, you're going to see where there's screen transitions.
Anyways, you get the idea. So it's a couple of the features that are in the PC port that I've enabled. 